it's Karen with iHelpC.com, your best friend's guide to hepatitis C and cirrhosis. And I wanted to address the ribavirin reductions today. The ribavirin is known to cause a hemolytic anemia, which means that the anemia is not caused by the virus or by your sick organs, but it's caused by the treatment itself. Ribavirin can create a situation where your red blood cells don't act like they should and you end up anemic. The symptoms of anemia would be fatigue and of course shortness of breath. I've blogged about this on the website but whenever you're, I think it's on the blood labs uh, blog, but whenever your oxygen isn't being carried throughout your body you are just short of breath and you're exhausted. Fatigue will hit hard. But most of the time, I think we panic when we hear about the riba reduction. I know I fought it. I didn't want it. It came really early for me. I had my first transfusion and my first Procrit injection inside of two months. And I was on a 43-week regime. But um, even with the new combinations of drugs, if you're on ribavirin, that is one of the risks is that you'll have anemia. Don't be afraid of not having the SVR at the end of it. I know I was. And it was still relatively, uh, the protease inhibitors were new. So we know now that you can still remain undetected and get that SVR at the end of treatment, even with the ribavirin reduction. It's a normal state of affairs. It's the protocol that the pharmaceutical company set up. If your body gets to this stage with anemia, then start with Procrit. Uh, move towards ribavirin reductions. It's very normal. Perhaps even a blood transfusion. Talk to your doctor about what he'll do to rescue your hemoglobin. Find out if your insurance is going to pay for Procrit or if a transfusion would be helpful. Certainly you want to do everything you can to stay on treatment. I fought hard and I had two or three reductions. They reduced my interferon up and down and it was frightening. Let's have no fear. Let's take a deep breath, get your rest, fight the fatigue with rest and good food and lots of water, fight the ribavirin rage, look on that reduction as a chance to maybe have a little bit less of that riba rage and know that you can still get that undetected. You can still be SVR even though you have to have a reduction. Keep the communication open with your doctors, keep your blood labs done on time, so that they can get that ribavirin right back up as quick as they can. I'm Karen and I'm your best friend in the battle with hepatitis C and cirrhosis.